Well, we're off getting a load of hay today, so why don't y'all uh, come with me? of Texas loading out a little load of hay gonna resale there's little Jimmy and there's the trailer now we've got 20 round bales of rye on so looks pretty good pretty good hay it's a uh, little coarse it's not like wheat it's uh you know it's kind of like triticale but maybe even a little bit coarser but it looks like it's good hay uh, i already sold the trailer load we're gonna take this back to the hay yard and we're gonna try to sell it to some customers already got some of it sold and already got a lot of people wanting the whole load so who knows we might be might be trucking until it's all gone over here huh yeah it uh cotton and uh and rye ain't the only thing that they raise. I don't know if you can see in the far distance, but there's an oil well right there in his farm. And there's, what's it, 
probably six, seven. Hell, there's more than that in the distance. I call them grasshoppers or oil wells. Sitting there. We just got one of them pumping right now. We run the price of oil still down, so they're they're kind of conserving or something. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, fixing the head back. Trying to hear from the farmer what to, uh, if he's going to meet me or I just go on. Man, over here, east of Tatum, New Mexico. Dry as a bone. No grass to speak of. Of course, this country always looks hard. Not normal. Sitting here cruising at almost 75 mile an hour and get a little, little Jimmy turning up about 3700 RPM. That's ripping up pretty good. <laughs> but it is a gas rig. And it's pulling a load. It's in fourth gear or in, in not in overdrive. So I, I think it's a five speed, but I'm not for sure. Anyway, just sitting there idling around, coming into New Mexico, coming in with a load. I got about half of it already sold already, so it goes quick, man, this time of year with as much speed as we got at home. So it's just kind of a, kind of a wild deal. This is rye, winter rye. It's beardless. And I've got 560 acres of hay grazer that's not going to make it. Uh, it's only six inches tall at best. There's a little that might be a foot, but you know, we're, we're, we're sitting here the 15th of September and don't have time. So we're, uh, I think I'm going to look into planting some of this. Uh, you know, it gets pretty tall, makes it makes a pretty good feed. And, uh, you know, you never know. I might luck out and we get a foot of snow this winter. And, and uh, you know, I make, a, I make a hay crop this winter. I have never done that before. But we'll, we'll try it. I'm game for anything right now. I just need something to, to put, a little, put a little net wrap around, put a, little, put a little twine around. I mean, get calls like crazy from dairymen to ranchers to, to you know wage workers that have a few cows and everybody's needing hay and so we're we're trying to trying to please everybody and uh, that's one thing about a farmer a farmer will diversify we will change up our plan whatever the market whatever the need is uh, we're always educating ourselves. Uh, I've been learning and reading up on rye and reading up on on how to, you know, what to plant, what the weather's going to do, and so we're going to we're going to try plant a little rye, and we may learn something. We may learn not to do something again. Uh, I've never had very good luck planting winter wheat. My whole 25 years of career, I've, I've never had a very good luck with wheat. But, uh, you know, this ain't really wheat, it's rye. So, uh, you know, it's supposed to get four foot tall, but I'm sure that depends on the, the, the moisture. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find some seed right now, and it's going to have to rain here pretty quick before I can plant that. So, we'll see. You know, we got about 30 days left of the growing season. And I can plant winter rye, uh, you know, in November if I want to, but it's just uh, sure would like to, to get it a little bit of a little bit of growth this this fall before we go into winter. So uh, we we normally plant like the last week of August, uh, September uh, on wheat. So. 
I'd love to have it in right now, but we just don't have any, you know, don't have any rain, so maybe we'll get some here, here in a, a few days, but one thing about a farmer, we will change up our plan to, uh, to uh, accommodate people right now, that's what I'm, that's why I'm hauling in this hay. I'm not making much more than a truck driver would. I'm just satisfied some of my customers, my good loyal customers that that that, that need feed, uh, and, and we're not going to have it this fall. So uh, I'm trying to get them stocked up a little uh, before we go into it. I'm going to have hay grazer, but I'm not going to have a bunch, and it's it's, it's not going to be enough to go around. So. So if you're one of my hate customers, hey, it's a warning, and I'm not doing this to, you know, to, to sell hay, but uh, I'm doing this to help you out because we're a team. You know, I, I'm part of your team. So uh, hey, if you're if you're one of my hate customers, the time to stock up is now, while I can still bring you these loads, because you know, it's coming up here in a month. All my acres is going to be spoke for, going to be gone, and uh, there won't be any until next spring. So, anyway, there's a phone call. We'll see who, we'll see who caught me. This is pretty stupid, but I'm almost out of gas. <laughs> well, I should have filled up at that little town back there. As you can see, uh, it's almost out. It's 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 below the red, and I like I like less than ten miles to go to the gas pump. Wow, it's gonna be gonna be a pretty hard. I'm here at Highway New Mexico, by South Adora, about. I guess about 9.5 miles. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, maybe I can make it. I got my local the fuel rep has a uh, set of fuel pumps here at this little town of Dora. Dora's kind of like Floyd right south of Portales. And But they got a gas station, so, or a set of pumps. So I'll pull up there if I can make it. I've got my son on standby, so with some gas cans, but I think I can make it. You uh, haul trucks, I guess, and so everybody don't, does not have a, uh, 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 a, a low fuel light, so, or it, if it does, it hadn't activated yet, so we will, uh, we will see. Stay tuned. gonna be in my way or is there I might get oh yeah I think I'm gonna be able to make it yeah wow that was scary that was scary okay I better go fill up
made it 55 gallons. I think this thing held a, you know, a little over 50 gallon tank. I'm not sure, but I always thought it was 50 gallons, so it was out. I was on vapor. I bet you I couldn't have made it another five miles. So that that worried me. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna get that low again. Anyway, that's a good scare. Homeward bound with 20. <laughs> 